Hi there, my name is John Bayalis and I'm MARTA's Director of Government Relations. I work in the Department of Communications and External Affairs. The X team serves several responsibilities vital to the authority, including customer service, marketing, media relations, and government relations. But today, I'm going to take some time off from that busy schedule to give you all a tour of the Art Center Station and the surrounding area. Art Center is one of three MARTA stations serving the Midtown area. Art Center, Midtown, and North Avenue are located approximately every half mile along West Peachtree Street. Let's go take a walk around the station. We're exiting Art Center above the station's bus loop and next to the small parking lot we make available to patrons for daily parking. And that reminds me, Art Center Station is one of the several stations we're taking advantage of to build out along our transit-oriented development program. We'll consider proposals ranging from high-rise buildings, multifamily housing, office space, and others. The area around Art Center is rated a high 86 for walkability. That means it's a great place to live without a car and get around on foot. I used to actually live in the neighborhood, right across the street on West Peachtree Street. This is a great area for restaurants, museums, concert venues, and shopping districts, made all the more convenient by the MARTA station being right here in the center of the district. We're going to walk over the Woodruff Art Center now, with an entrance located conveniently off of Art Center Way. Let's go. We're here now with Andrea Witta from the Woodruff Art Center. She's going to tell us a little bit about all the great things that are going on at the complex here. Good morning, Andrea. How are you? Good morning, John. Let me just tell you, we love having the Art Center Marta Station right here at our back door. Oh, I really appreciate hearing that. And as I was saying to them earlier, uh, I actually used to live in the area. And when I was, I uh, was a card-carrying member of the High Museum. So I know all the great things that are going on here, but I was hoping you could take some of the video you gave us and talk about all the stuff that's going on right now. I'd love to. Let's start with the Witcher Art Center. The Woodruff Art Center serves over 100,000 people through our educational programming. We have wonderful programs dedicated to all ages and forms of art, including acting, hands-on art making, music, and more. The High Museum of Art is the leading art museum in the Southeast. Featuring world-class art and changing special exhibitions, in an ever-growing permanent collection of more than 14,000 works of art. And the Alliance Theatre is the Southeast's largest producing theatre. It specializes in world premiere plays and musicals, and they actually move on to Broadway and touring productions. And finally, the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra is known for the excellence of its live performances, its presentations, renowned choruses, and its impressive live Grammy Award winning recordings. Wow, we're truly fortunate to have all that here in Atlanta. We really are, and it's so wonderful to have the Art Center Marta Station right here in our backyard. Well, once again, I appreciate that. We really thank you for your time and the tour. Thank you. Now we're gonna go across the street and check out Colony Square. Colony Square was built in the early 70s as the first mixed-use development in the Southeast. It includes skyscraper office buildings and the W Hotel, mid-rise condominiums, an atrium mall, and some great restaurants. Plus, Piedmont Park is located a short walk right down 14th Street. And five minutes later, here we are, right at the corners of 18th and Spring Streets, directly across the street from the Center for Puppetry Arts and the Bremen Jewish Heritage Museum. The Center for Puppetry Arts opened in 1978, with the ribbon cutting being done by Jim Henson and Kermit the Frog. Back then, it was just a converted three-story school building with several theaters, but as you can see, it's in the midst of a major renovation. New improvements will provide room for an expanded museum, which will house a vast collection of puppets from around the world and the largest collection of Jim Henson's puppets. For more information, go to www.puppet.org. Just next door is the Bremen Jewish Heritage Museum. The Bremen Jewish Heritage Museum is dedicated to Jewish history with a special emphasis on Georgia and the Holocaust. The Bremen, named for Atlanta businessman and philanthropist William Bremen, opened in 1996 and is the largest museum of its kind in the Southeast. Inside, visitors will see Jewish arts, history, and identity. The Weinberg Center has personal stories of Holocaust history told by survivors who now live here in Atlanta. The Bremen is open Sunday through Thursday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Fridays until 4 o'clock. Atlantic Station is across the highway, but there's an easy way to get there from Art Center Station. 
Atlantic Station also provides a free shuttle. It operates seven days a week from 5 a.m. to 1 a.m. every 15 to 25 minutes. The Peach 110 stops here on its way between Lenox Station and Five Points along Peachtree Street. Plus, Cobb County Transit and Greta both have express buses that operate during morning and afternoon commutes. So that's a quick tour of the Art Center Station neighborhood. We hope you take a bus or a train down here to see it all for yourself. Thanks for joining us today, and thanks for riding Marta.